everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name's Rachel if you could please leave a like rating down below comment or even subscribe if you are new here that'd be amazing and if you want to be notified for when I upload then just hit the notification bell down below today I'm going to be coming at you with a Primark haul the first one I've done this year since the reopening after lockdown which how are we all I hope you're all okay I want to know what you guys have been up to have you been shopping have you been to the beer gardens because I know I have Shock. I just want to see how you're all doing really because obviously I know some people think it's nice having a bit of normality back but then obviously I know some others might feel a bit anxious I just want to say that that's okay um, you don't have to feel like you need to make plans or go out or do anything like if you're still trying to get used to things or struggling a bit like honestly that's fine anyway so this is a Primark try on haul if you're interested then please keep on watching and obviously if you know me I went to my local Primark so just in case you're wondering it's quite a small Primark so I know they don't get the best of everything in because I know the bigger stores have like priority of like the best sellers and all that but I think they have some good bits in this year so let's get into it <laughs> So I did spend £95.85, pence, but we've got to get out of our system, right? So here's a bag of goods, um, also treat myself to a reusable bag because oh, I don't even have to get into it about those paper bags, we know. Also excuse the shitty tan, um, I need to scrub it off tomorrow, but I wasn't going to let that stop me because I've had this set in my room for a while, I haven't really felt ready to film because not going to lie, going back to work has drained me a little bit, um, getting back into that routine of course, like three months that doing nothing and I mean I did nothing. Um, it was a big change so I wanted to make sure I was in the mood to film this and I don't want anything to come across negative or false. So yeah, start with clothing bits first. So I was a bit impatient. Um, I have worn some bits out, used some bits because, like I said, this has all been in my room for a while. Um, I literally went in on the first or second week opening, so... I'm proud of myself. Anyway, so the first item I got, I am obsessed with. It's this cute little black bag. I feel like a little. <laughs> so cute. And it was only six pounds, which I can't believe. Um, I have hopped on the little bag trend because I actually don't own any like this. And I'm not very adventurous, so it has to be black. And I love the ruched little handle and it's like really good quality. I don't know how that means that's good quality, but you know what I mean. And if you don't just want the little handle, they have actually got the long strap as well. I've already worn this out though, so I'm not going to show the inside because I can't guarantee it's going to be clean, to be honest. That's a long strap. So you can have it crossbody or... You know, you do you, but you know. I love that. I've already taken that with me to the beer garden, so I am obsessed. And then I've jumped on the hype. I have seen these everywhere, all over TikTok, all over Instagram, everyone raving about them. And I've never seen them before, and they are like the seamless underwear sets. So it's just like a wireless bralette it's nice and ribbed and yeah you get a wireless bralette and a thong set so i got it in the gray the black and the white so the only ones in the store i really want the chocolate brown but like i said they weren't in the primark that i go to because it's quite a small one so it wouldn't surprise me if only like the big Birmingham one and all the London ones had the chocolate brown one. But yeah, if anyone wants to get that for me, I'd be very happy. Thanks. Yeah, I can't wait to wear these. They look so comfy. And I've started seeing some summery colours come in. I've seen a lilac and then I've seen pink, yellow. I think I'm going to be buying them all, to be honest. But yeah, I've got them all in a large uh, 14 16. It's a pain you can't get the top different to the bottoms, but they are £5 each. So I got every colour that was in there. 
course obsessed with those and i'm so glad i finally got my hands on this one too i've seen it everywhere as well it's this lovely white set where it's the tie up cardigan and then a little cami top underneath vest top um and it's ribbed and then they've got like frills at the ends which i think is a really nice touch i saw this in a really nice blue color as well but like i said i'm basic i can't venture out into those um i'd love to wear these with like denim like oh, white and denim chef's kiss do you know what i mean but yeah i can't wait to see what that looks like i hope it's not see through because obviously it's white but i love it but i don't understand how girls wear the cardigan on their own like how's your boobs big boobs what um ciao anyway so that one was 10 pounds i'm just obsessed I'm gonna say that about everything, aren't I? That I'm obsessed, but I am. Do you know what I mean? £10 for that. Bargain. And then, have you really been to Primark if you haven't got yourself some socks? Black and white offs. Um, they're £2 each, and they're a pack of seven pairs each. You can't go wrong. I didn't say I got that cardigan and top set in a large as well, which is 14 16 I got these lovely joggers in a large as well. And they were only five pounds and they're so soft feels such good quality and they're like cuffed like i love this particular cuff at the top and then they've got a drawstring waist which actually works which is what we love to hear and then the same cuff at the bottom they feel so soft and for five pounds i just couldn't leave them there can't wait to lounge in those honestly i'm obsessed with wearing joggers at the minute especially out the house and then next I got this little top. Some people wear it as lingerie because you'll find it in the lingerie section. Some people wear it as tops, bralettes. I wear a bit of in between to be honest. I wear one of these with some joggers and a zip up cardigan and I'm good to go. Or just chilling around the house or under a jumper. They're really nice, really stretchy. Got this in a large again. Do you know what? They're so stretchy that you could probably size down. But I like them to be longer. That's all to cover the rolls do you know what I mean but if you want to let your rolls out boo you let your rolls out but I'm not gonna so yeah I have these in white grey and black shock and then I just saw this cute baby pink and I was obsessed I had to get it it's just nice and ribbed oh, that colour is just beautiful and yeah they're only three pounds so beautiful I'd really like to wear them with like white joggers and a white zip up cardigan but they didn't have a white zip up cardigan and I don't own one so it's great isn't it and then I got these pink shorts as well in the pyjama section and I got them in a large too and they're £3 as well I just I mean the pink's a bit different which is a bit annoying I don't know if you can see the difference but I mean I love pink as you can tell and I just saw it and I was like I have to pick them up to lounge around in I also love high rise short we love a high rise over here do you know what i mean it's a pain that the drawstring doesn't work but we move it's only three pounds and i mean to lounge around in i don't think anyone's gonna care i love the pink bit ribbed everything's ribbed in this hole i don't even know don't worry i got a stash ribbed and then frilly ends as well there's a little theme going on here isn't there and then I got this little bodysuit. It says it's in a taupe colour, but I'd say that was tan more tan or nude. But then again, who cares? Do you know what I mean? I got this one in a large and it was only £5, which is a bargain. And I've already got these in, guess what colour? I bet you're right. Black and white. <laughs> what can I say? I like to venture out, obviously. Um... But yeah, I know they're comfy and I thought, you know what? Well, it was just calling my name. And you know there's when there's only one size there? Oh, I can't breathe. And you know when there's only one in your size there? It's just calling your name across the shop. Like, that's what happens. So I had to pick it up. It's nice to not have something that's black or white or pink or grey. And I really wanted this one. And again, I saw one across. Oh, my hair looks lovely. Yeah, I really wanted this one and it kept selling out and then I saw it across the shop and I literally rat, well no, when I say rat, I can't run. Um, I fast walked across the shop to get this one because, oh my god, look at that. 
So this one was £15 in total. It's Is it a shacket? I don't know if this is like a thin shacket or just a shirt, but it's so soft. And I love the colours, like you've got a bit of tan, a bit of navy, a bit of black, a bit of white. And I really wanted this to be like a shirt dress um, and I got it in a size 20. Um, I'm not a size 20 but I, it hasn't got much give so I didn't think it would be long enough. And it's so annoying because the back's a little bit longer than the front. What is that? <laughs> so yeah, the back is a little bit longer than the front. Um, so it's annoying, it's just a little bit too short at the front, but back, absolutely fine. If I lost a bit of the tum, it probably would be long enough, but, um, we're a big gal over here, do you know what I mean? I like my food. So, I mean, I'd say if you're, like, a size 14 and lower, if you, like, size up whatever, that's your vibe, you could definitely wear it as a shirt dress, that'd be so nice. But, um, because it was that little bit too short and with my chubby fun size shirt, you know I mean, I don't want to be wearing stuff too short. Um, but I thought it'd be really nice paired with some cycling shorts and then tied in with a belt or worn open, literally like an open shirt with anything with jeans, bodysuit. Maybe even these two colors would be nice together in this open with the nude tanned color going together. And um, maybe even with some like black jeans or something. I'm not a fashionista though, so you might come up with better ideas than me. And then we move on to the main shacket, and it's the last item of clothing in this haul. It is just this shacket dress, and the buttons are so nice. Can you see? Yeah, those buttons are so nice. I love the detail. So soft, so oversized as well. Like, I got this in a large, and it's huge. And I've never seen with a shacket, right? Not only has it got pockets on the front, which you'd hope for. Are you ready? We've got pockets at the sides, people. That's right. Oh, is that a rain? Honestly, is it just the weather in Cornwall, the whole UK at the minute? It's just making no sense. Um, but I've got a bit of makeup on her because I've worn it out already. Whoops. And yeah, this one's £20. I got it in a large. And it's so comfy. And I wore it with a tight belt and it's lush. I'll hopefully show you in the try on clip anyway. Moving on to the last little bits. So then I got some exfoliating gloves. Um, they're a pound for two pairs. One big pink and one white. They're just the best. Great to remove your fake tan. Or even if you don't fake tan, it's just great to get off that first... Sorry, it's gross to say, but dead layer of skin. Do you know what I mean? No one wants any of that. Trust me. Yeah, I needed some fresh pair of those. And then, do you ever pick up like a really pointless item that you didn't need, didn't come in for? Because if you didn't, you didn't go to Primark, clearly. So I picked up this bow headband um, for £1.58. It's really nice and fluffy, actually. It's really soft. Wow, that is really nice tan, isn't it? Fucking exposing myself here, aren't I? Oh, well. It's nice pink and fluffy, and I thought, I'm just going to get my orange ass makeup in this. But then someone told me skincare, and now I'm so happy I've bought it. And I'm so happy to finally get my hands on these, so I actually bought two. Um, probably didn't need two packs, but we move, it's fine. Um, I got the Magic Hair Clip, so you know the, um, is it like kink free ones you know you see um i've already got a few pink ones in the money may wave toolkit but um i'm that obsessed with them i wanted more and then uh, these ones are like a bit bigger can i show you so you've got 10 in total so you've got five pink and five black and i just like they're a bit bigger and i thought they i thought they're a bit nicer to be honest and yeah they're two pound each they're just nice to hold like things like your curls or your hair in place when you've waved it whatever you've done to it or even just holding back your hair after you've styled it out the way to do your makeup and then because they're kink free they won't they won't ruin your hair so and i got some more hair bands i got the brown ones and they are one pound and as you can see um it goes from like the thick ones to then like the really thin ones so like you got the whole variety and you get 60 in that and then i also got some brown hair grips people call these like kirby grips and stuff like i swear people call them all different names yeah they're a pound for 60. i like that they come in that little container 
Easy's keep them together. Every time I've got some, not from Primark obviously, rookie error. I've lost them, they've gone everywhere. So I like that I can just keep them in that little box. Also with the hair bands and hair grips, you can get either black as well, or for ones of people with blonde hair. And then again, I decided to pick up a high gloss. No clue if it's any good because I've never tried it, so I really hope it's not sticky. I hate sticky lip glosses, I don't know about you. I do not want my lips sticking together. Behave. And that was only 150. But not gonna lie, I'm always impressed with their makeup, so I'm not expecting the worst here. I think we might have some hope. And for 150, you can't go wrong, really, can you? And then I don't care if I get it all dirty inside, you know, and you put it on top of lipstick, and then it's not all nice and clear anymore. It'll be all gross. And if you don't know about this next item, get to bloody know. It's the brow sketch, so it's just this brow pencil. Oh, I feel like a right beauty guru now. <laughs> yeah, the brow sketch. And I get mine in dark brown, and it's only two pounds. I've already gone into this one already, so I'm a bit impatient. But yeah, for two pounds you can't go wrong, and it's actually really good. So yeah, you get the little pencil, and it's actually quite fine, which I really like. I hate a thick nib at the end of a brow pencil, so there you go. It's like a little micro pencil. Just so you can achieve that more realistic brow hair. The smaller it is, the, oh, the smaller it is, the better, no. And then at the other end, you've got your little spoolie, which is really good. Can't complain, two pound. Also, my favorite one is the P. Louise one. It's 12 pound, I mean 16 pound if you get the brow scar as well. But £12, I mean, it is creamier. But then it also goes faster, so I just thought, you know what, for two quid, and I know it's good. Get it, everyone. Now, I've found something that has changed the game for me, the makeup game, and I can't believe it. So it's this My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick. It says it's buildable coverage, blendable natural finish. Wait, natural around here, girls. Um, moisturising, do I just whistle? Moisturising and vitamin E. Is it only 250? Shut up. No. Well, I can't believe it. That one was £2.50. And honestly, it's so good. It's in the shade Chai. Shame. So, yeah, in the shade Chai. And then it's like this colour. It's literally the perfect bronzing colour. And it's so creamy and blendable, honestly. It doesn't dry um, and it doesn't blend away either. Like, it's perfect. The colour stays there, but it's easy to blend. And I'm honestly in love. Like, the addiction has started. I saw this from Jordan Lipscomb years ago and I just never followed through with it. And I only thought she got, like, a shade caramel or something. And when you look in the shops, the lights make everything like look a different colour. So when I saw this in store, I was like, this just looks like a tad oranger than my foundation. But I was like... Do you know what? I've heard her use this one too. Bought it, went outside, I was like, Phew. that's a bronzing shade. And I'm so happy with it. So yeah, I'd highly recommend girls. If you're looking for a cream bronzer, that's especially if you're new to it, it's easy to blend. 250, do you know what I mean? And then last but not least, not very interesting, but just some scrunchies, two pound. They're really nice and silky. I've got the white, um, this like, I don't know, is it nudie or like blush pink? And then a black. I just thought they'd be nice if I did my hair or anything for a night out or whatever. I don't know, I thought they'd look nice in like a high pony, low pony, whatever's your vibe. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've watched till the end, thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you get any nice bits or if you've been shopping in there already. What did I say? So if you could like this video, that'd be amazing. Maybe even comment down below what you thought about the video. If you have any recommendations for me for videos to film in the future. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It means a lot to me. And like I said, if you want to be notified whenever I upload, just press the notification bell. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you and leave you. Thank you.